Okay, how y'all doing out there? Um, we uh, are going to do a cork video today. I just turned my light on because I got some incriminating news about uh, a situation. A situation that doesn't make me happy at all. And why don't I say that I'm happy about it? Well, we're never happy over here at Cork because Cork, C-O-R-C, Cusserama Cafe, is always about something where somebody is trying to stick it in our ass and not make it feel good. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm about sick and tired of local government trash. Now, what are we talking about there? We're talking about the local government, the place that you live, the town you live in, that manipulates and dilates and, and structurally comes up with ideas to suck more money out of your pocket to put in theirs. Now, let me get the letter here because this is from my local government. All right? Now, I want to say one more thing and quit saying now. I don't need to say now all the time, do I? Because it is now. this shop for 27 years. 27 years I have been here. Now, when I moved from Carrollton to Louisville, Carrollton is in Dallas County, Louisville is in Denton County, but Louisville is actually the last suburb of Dallas. The city has identified $33.7 million as necessary drainage improvements for the next 10 years, 10 years, including $10 million for projects slated to begin in the next three years. All right, so they just explained to us that the city needs $43 million. $43 million. Now, there's a lot of commercial businesses in Louisville. A lot of commercial businesses. And I don't know what size town you live in, but when I'm talking commercial build businesses, I'm talking giant, humongous, oversized warehouses that take up hundreds of fucking acres, all right, hundreds of acres, and they're these tilt wall concrete buildings with big flat roofs, and it's all solid concrete around them, and you know, one of these places, you might have one that's on 15 acres of land, and it's solid concrete, and it's a solid building. All right, you got the idea. Let me ask you a question. Do you think the city um, government is basically like a corporation that they have lawyers, they actually hire lawyers in to sit around at a table, a round table, should we say the knight's table, the knight's table, and diabolically plan, and that's their job is to find and twist and screw other ways into taking our money. Do you think that's what they do? Because this is what this is right here. My water bill has been between 15 and 18 dollars a month for 27 fucking years. I don't use any water here. The only time I use water is to wash the car off, to flush the toilet after I take a big fucking shit, and then, you know, about once a month or two months, I'll steam clean pressurize my shop out. So I don't use a lot of fucking water. I don't use a lot of water here. It's not like somebody lives here 
and, and we got a six, you know, uh, a six children family with mother and, and dad living in my office, okay? And we take showers here and all this other shit. Did I tell you about the ordinance number 4425-10-2017 declaring stormwater drainage a public, public utility and providing for the establishment and calculations of storm water drainage utility charges and credits. They are going to charge me when it rains. Amending the fee schedule by adding storm water drainage utility charges to fund the costs incurred by the city in providing storm water services, facilities, equipment, and improvement each year. That means they're going to charge me a monthly charge for eternity. Yeah, you got it. I'm fucking pissed. I'm pissed that they are charging me. Okay, all of a sudden they come up with this idea that, oh, I know a way we can get money. We'll charge them so when it rains, you know, uh, the rain will flow off their concrete into our gutters. And it's our gutters, not theirs. They don't own it. The city storm drainage utility is similar to those adopted by other North Texas municipalities. That means that they're telling you that they're behind the times because everybody else in North Texas is doing it. Everybody else in North Texas is taking money from you when it rains. Now, I talked to Norm, um, our buddy over there. I talked to our buddy, uh, Concrete Norm, and he said he's been paying it ever since he's been in that house. He pays like $35 a month. Let me tell you what they're calling this fucking thing. Impervious area. They say that my shop is on an impervious area. Now, impervious means that the water cannot soak into the ground, that it's a runoff. They're talking about my roofs. They're talking about the concrete driveway. They're talking about the fucking backyard because I have gravel on the backyard. Even though, are you listening? Are you hearing me here? Even though I have trees and foliage and bushes and everything else in the back, they're telling me that the water cannot saturate in the ground and it's a runoff. That it's going in their gutters two acres away from my fucking street. City Records indicates that your property located at my address under account number 20-1280 includes an impervious area of 48,044 square feet. They are charging us by the square foot, which will result in a monthly stormwater fee of $68.70. Fucking cents. Sixty-eight dollars and seventy fucking cents. Sixty-eight dollars and seventy fucking cents. They are charging us one dollar and forty-three cents per month per one fucking thousand square feet. So since I have forty-eight thousand square feet and a dollar forty-three, I'm getting fucked in the ass. At 69 cocksucker fucking dollars. You're probably telling yourself, fuck you, I wouldn't pay it. You're probably telling yourself, they can go stick their shit in their ass. No, that ain't how it's going to work. Because they are going to tack that on to the water bill. And if you don't pay them, they will turn your water off. And you will have to pay a $500 deposit. And then you will have to pay... A turn-on fee to turn it back on, reconnect fee. And then you'll have to pay uh, another reconnect fee in case you fuck up again and think your smart ass is going to tell them to fucking stick it in their ass. They got that fee too. So now you're telling me that, uh, okay, because I know what you're going to say. I already got your questions in my head, see? I already got my, your questions and I know what you're going to say. Well, why don't you go fight them on that and say that you don't have 48,000 square feet. This is where they get you on that. As part of the stormwater utility program, credits will be available to help property owners reduce their stormwater utility bills. Okay, this is how you have to do it. To qualify for credits, property owners must practice qualifying stormwater management features on their property that help reduce stormwater runoff or improve stormwater quality. How the fuck am I going to improve 
the fucking rain falling out of the sky. How am I going to do that? Because if you talk to these conspiracy theory fuckheads, they're going to tell you that they're, f they're putting fucking chemtrails in the sky, so it will rain. Practice quality, qualifying stormwater management fees. Okay, so let's say you go up to them and say, okay, I got dirt in the back and my water's running off. Okay, fine. That's great. I'm glad you got that. But then they're going to ask you this question. Credits may require engineering documentation, maintenance plans, inspections, and self-reporting to the Storm Water Division. If you do not have these, you will be charged in full. They're coming up with all this shit. Now I got to go get an engineer to come over here and pay him three or four thousand dollars. I got to uh, have maintenance plans on my property in my possession that says I am maintaining my property so the rainwater will run this way instead of that way. Do you see what I'm talking about here? Do you understand the situation that we fucking have? We have a government system that is fucking us in our ass. They are connivingly and judicially corruptly taking my money, your money, everybody's fucking money, and putting it in their pockets. They are not going to do a fucking thing to the fucking storm drains. The storm drains have worked ever since I've been here. I have never seen a flood. Never. And why should we pay for that when we're already paying for everything else? This is a sham and a scam that is a millennial situation that says it's all about the dollar bill. I want your money and I'm going to get your money. If you don't like it, fuck you. You're a scumbag, a piece of shit. They send you this fucking letter like they're nice to you, like they're fucking your friend. Fuck you. They ain't shit. $80 plus a fucking month so I can flush my toilet, so I can wash a fucking car off, and I can color sand and buff a paint job. Thank you very much, Louisville, Texas, for fucking me in the ass and making me pay for your shit and send you to the Bahamas and buy your brand new fucking car and everything else along with your brand new piece of shit house you're living in while I sit here struggling to make a fucking living. Fuck ass! Are we in Kassarama Cafe right now? Because my little buddy here hasn't been joining us. My little buddy here that says, we're getting fucked harder than that finger can stick it in our ass. He isn't here, but he is now because that's the only solution that we got. And guess who's fucking sitting on that? It definitely isn't the city of Louisville, bitch. and 70 fucking cents.